YouTube, I'm back again with another video. We are unboxing and checking out the Green Works Ultra Power Pro 80 volt true brushless 16 inch string trimmer, or as I call them, the Weed Whacker. Um, full disclosure, I have had almost the same version uh, Green Works um, Weed Whacker. I don't know if it was called the Pro. I think they just kind of keep updating it, but mine was, actually, I'll be honest, mine wasn't the 80 volt. I had the 80 volt battery for the uh, self-propelled mower, but I only had, I believe, a 60 volt for the weed eater. So this is actually gonna be more powerful than, uh, and probably longer lasting than my the one I had. I had a Greenworks weed whip, self-propelled mower, and blower. When I lived at the other house, I uh, used them for over three years, absolutely loved them, never had one ounce of problems with them at all. Amazing equipment. I'm expecting the same out of this one. Um, this was a deal, guys. I went on to Greenworks' website because I was just interested in buying a new weed whip, and they still wanted, I think, the $249 plus tax. Of all places, I found this on sale at the best price was at Best Buy, who I didn't even know sold weed whip and weed whackers and shit. So I think uh, Best Buy, another video, maybe I'll make that video tonight, might be a fun video, but I think Best Buy is really struggling because I know for a damn fact they never used to sell weed whackers. Anyway, they had this thing on sale for like $60 off, 174 bucks, I think it was, plus tax, um, for not only the weed whip straight edge which i like you don't want the curved shaft those suck and they're hard on your back uh straight shaft and it came with an 80 volt battery and the charger guys that is a great deal because usually it's like oh give you a deal on the weed whip but it's 200 dollars by the time you buy the charger and the battery matter of fact i didn't really want to drive all the way out to where i had to go to get this thing um so i was gonna go because i've been pr really impressed with harbor freight they have an atlas weed whip electric and it was only like 80 or 90 bucks but it didn't come with the battery or the charger well the freaking charger you have to buy the charger at least with greenworks when you bought the battery it came with the charger um you got to buy the charger separately for like 80 more dollars then you had to buy the battery for like 120 it was like fuck by the time i got done buying their i guarantee you their cheaper version is not as good as greenworks um, it'd be way more expensive than this. I got the 80 volt battery, the charger, and the weed whip um, for $174 plus tax. I think it came to $198. Um, and now I have the battery. So if I end up buying anything else um, from Greenworks, I'll, um, I'll always buy it with, with a battery as well. I'll go back to having my two batteries and two chargers, and they're interchangeable with all their stuff. So they're awesome. So far, Greenworks has been an amazing company. Um, I've never had a problem with their stuff. It's quality. Nothing is ever broke. It run like a dream. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have this back in my little uh, lawn care. As you guys see, I have a lot to do out here. Um, I will say this thing was on one bar when I, char when I threw it on the charger, and it charged in less time than it took me to get home. Less than 40 minutes, guys, this thing charged up. So that's great. Um, let me get it off the cord, take it out, easy on, easy off, that's what it looks like. This thing has a fan that, I mean, blew out, it was blowing out hard when I had it plugged in to keep itself cool, so that's nice. Um, big ass heavy battery, but that'll give weight to the weed whacker, which I think is a positive. Press this button, this is how it's always been, and it tells you how many charges you got. I got three of them. I probably won't have to recharge this, probably for at least a couple times of doing my acre and a half property. Um, weed whipping around the trees, the front, the pond, whatever. So this is what I'm replacing it with, guys. I have a Toro. Actually, a pretty nice mo uh, whip, whip. The problem is, like anything that's gas, uh, it's been setting all winter. Um, I did drain the gas out of it. Now, I don't use gas. I use the true fuel. So I shouldn't have had any problems starting. Um, initially, I got it running, following all the directions, hitting the prime eight times, yada, yada, yada. Um, and it would run for three minutes or so, and then it'd die. Then it'd start up, then it'd die. And then I'd cut for a little while, and it'd die. And it's like, what the hell? So I got frustrated. I went inside. I told the wife I'm going back to an electric weed whip. 
I'm sick and tired. She knows I don't like dealing with this shit. I like good tools at work. Uh, when you want to get a job done, you want to get it done. You don't want to be messing around with your damn equipment. And if the shit's not going to run good, I get rid of it. So with that being said, um, I told her if I go out and it starts and runs good, maybe after. Sometimes it needs a little bit of break, right? Get the oil lines settled down, whatever. Well, sure enough, I go out and the damn thing fires right up, idles forever, and runs good. So I'm like, fine, I'll keep the damn thing, you know, until it gives me problems again. Save the money. So then I go to use the tap and go to feed, give it more line feed. Well, I forgot that the guy that I bought, I bought it off a used, um, bought it used off a guy that does repair and maintenance on them. Same thing I bought that mower off of, that John Deere. And it's been running great. He does actually a really good job, but it's been sitting all year and whatnot. And I knew when he sold it to me, it didn't have the brand the attachment on the bottom the tap it's got a tap and go but it's missing a part it's just kind of a piece of crap the, the end of it i dealt with it last year i forgot about it this year um i know you can go buy a whole new insert and all that but guys i don't like to mess with this stuff um you know i'm looking at some of these universal um tap and goes you can put on the bottoms of it um People are complaining that, you know, the plastic bumper is so thin, it's breaks, you got to keep buying new. It's like, dude, I'm over it. I, um, I don't want to mess with it. I'll probably put it on Craigslist or Marketplace and sell it for, I think I only paid 70, 80 bucks for it. I'll probably ask the same amount of money for it, um, maybe even 50, 60 bucks just to get rid of it. Um, or maybe I'll keep it as a backup, but I doubt it. I have it sit around, and then I'm just going to have the problems with it starting again. It did start to run good finally, so um, I know it's got plenty of life. When you run that thing, it's super powerful. For the right guy that likes maintaining this equipment and cleaning carburetor and blah, 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 it'd be great for somebody. It'd probably last 15 more years. Um, I'm not that guy. So I went in and told the wife, you know what, I'm done. I'm sick of it. I'm going to get the green works, electric, weed whipping especially. I just want to get it done. I want to fire the thing up. With this thing, you throw a battery in it, and you go. And, um, you know, eventually I'll invest in another battery. And if it dies halfway through the job, I'll throw a new battery on it and go again, you know, and then get them charged. I always charge them up for the next time. So um, I'm a big fan of this electric lawn equipment, man. The more the merrier, I say. I mean, if they eventually make a, a mower, which I know they do, but one that you know tried and true after a few years i might buy one um they make a nice green works um i forget the mower styles guys that you sit on the top and haul ass i forget what they're called but eventually i might get one the less things i gotta deal with the better um anyway here is the mower now i will say something about best buy they have a tendency to give you used stuff this one I felt like was all kind of thrown in the box and you can kind of see the sides are a little bit scuffed right there. So I think this thing's been put together before, but I think somebody decided that they didn't want it because all the pieces do not look, not one ounce of grass or stained or anything. So I don't think it, it was used. So that's good. So I won't complain about it. The battery charged good. Um, I should get my little stand so you guys can see it. This thing is actually really nice. I'll be honest, I think this thing is uh, better than mine. Um, let me set the phone down. Hold on. Guys, look at this. Look at the beautiful head on this thing. Look at that big ass. Nice head on that. Already got the whip in there. The wind, the load. This is definitely an upgraded version to what I had. Like I said, I had the 60 volt battery edition. This thing actually feels, and my battery, if you can see, my this goes on the top. My battery went in the side. So they definitely have upgraded this for sure 
sure this ain't gonna fall. They definitely have upgraded this thing. Greenworks Pro. Uh, the battery goes right down in the top. Actually, it'll give it some nice weight, which I think will help balance it out nice. Got your uh, safety button to get it to start it. Mine had this as well, just a different placement. You got one for your easy cutting, then you can switch it to two for your more powerful cutting. And let me tell you, it does work great. Um, I never blew through tons of a line. I'm very actually impressed with the head on this thing. The head on my 60 volt Greenworks was a lot smaller, more traditional feeling. This thing looks way more heavy duty, nice flat. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bump. I'm sure it is a bump. Yeah, it's a bump. Just not as traditional looking as what you would expect. So, I mean, the thing's already ready to go. This head just snapped in. But this little piece here just snapped in. Guys, I'm going to throw the battery on this joker. And we're ready to go. That's what I love about these things. Charge the battery, pop it in, and away you go. So, yeah, this thing's awesome, guys. Um, I'll let you know how it runs. Do Maybe I'll do a little short video to let you guys know how it works. I'm totally sure it's going to be perfectly fine. So, all right, well, I'll holler at you. This is the Greenworks 80 Volt Pro Brushless series by greenworks right now on sale at best buy sixty dollars off full price if you guys are in the uh looking to get one i would suggest go and get it that's a great price